Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 9. Episode 9 already, we're almost into double digits, that's mental. Okay, so I have a bridge, first of all, as you can see, it makes it a little easier to get back and forth. Love that for us. Few other little details that I've just been kind of sprinkling around, I'm sure you'll notice between episodes, nothing major, just some rocks and stuff. Today, I want chickens. I've decided I want chickens. It's time. I need I need chickens. So I have a farm area up here, right? And this like little tiny plains biome, it could just use some love, I think. And I'd like to add some chickens because we have, you know, most of the other animals except for like pigs and llamas. Okay, we don't have most of the other animals. But we don't have chickens and we need chickens. So I'm gonna see. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, I love you. Oh, hang on. I don't have any fences. Wait, I was almost ready. Um. There was a chicken here. Like, there was. Oh, here's a chicken. Hello. Can we be friends? Come, come. I'm gonna make you a home. I feel like a mother goose. Mother chicken. This is perfect. This is my calling right here. Oh, yes. Come down the hill, my pretties. In -in -in -in. Perfect. Now you guys get to have a baby. Yay, babies. Okay, so now I just need a coop for those guys. I think we put the coop near the barn. Like I think this right here is the perfect spot because it's just gonna be a little tiny build. Let me chop down these oak trees that I got so we can use that for our walls. Okay, just gonna literally plop it right here. It's just gonna be three wide, super simple. It's gonna be up on a couple of stilts. Nothing crazy going on here. Uh, that should be tall enough. Okay, so basically here's what I want. I want the walls slash floor to be around here, I think. I haven't thought that out this far. Um, and then like a little stairwell so it looks like the chickens would be able to come up and down. I'm gonna trap them inside and have them laying eggs in here, but in theory I would be able to open the gate and they could come and be free if they wanted to be. Okay, now we just add a roof. Should be simple. Do have to destroy a few of the leaves. That's okay. Okay, so the fun thing about what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna make it semi-functional. Um, I'm gonna put a chest below it. I don't know how this is gonna look, obviously not quite like that, um, but I am gonna have a hopper kind of funneling eggs and it's not gonna catch all of the eggs because the hopper's going to be here, I'm not gonna do nine hoppers, and the chickens are gonna be kind of free to roam in all of these blocks, so it won't catch all the eggs, but I don't know if you've ever had an egg farm in Minecraft, You you don't need that many eggs like I'm not on an SMP I don't really need to prank people with eggs I just want like a few in case I ever want to make a cake so if you'll excuse me just gonna plop a chest right there hopper on top of it a little carpet and that should work it looks a little odd it does it looks a little odd um okay let me work with the idea there! That's not that weird, right? That looks fine! <laughs> you could totally pass that off as like some sort of column rather than a collection system, so I think that's great. Now, as for the chickens themselves, I should just be able to walk the ones that I just collected straight up into there. I think that's cute! I mean, I have no complaints about that. Let me actually just put an upside down stair there. That's kind of cute. It's not perfect, but I mean... I'll take it. Oh, I'm overthinking it. It's the chicken coop. Oh, you guys have some eggs for me as well. Thank you so much. Come, come. I've built you a whole little house. Come on. You'll never have to sit out in the rain. Come on. Up the stairs. That's it. The baby one got a little lost. You struggling? There you are. There you are all the way in. All the way in. Okay, there we go. And I just run out. And that is perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. I'm so pleased. Okay, gonna give you guys a couple torches. There we go. And just to make it completely safe, just put that over. So I can't get in there. Um, I can still breed them. I'll take it down and stuff every now and then, but it's meant to look like a chicken coop that they can come in and out of and I can't get in. Up. So that's, that's good, I think. Okay, the next mission is we really need to work on getting some netherite gear. I have a goal in this episode to get at least one piece of netherite gear. I currently still have three ancient debris, but I do have 11 TNT. I don't have any sort of farms or anything where I can make mass amounts of TNT yet, but when we get there, I'll make some more. For now, I'm gonna go in with this TNT and my pickaxe and just see if I can happen to find a little bit more. Also, I do have my gold on. I'm not using beds yet, uh, just I don't have that much blast protection and I think that you guys are trying to get me killed by telling me to do that. You need like a lot of blast protection for a bed. That's a really big explosion. <laughs> I'm not mentally ready for that, okay guys? 
Approaching the nether portal is so much more fun now. Ah, it's so nice having a little build out here where we can actually easily get to it and just have something to look out in this area. Whoop. <laughs> Need a little dock for my boat is the only other thing. Thank you for all the ideas on this tunnel, by the way. I love them. I think I'm definitely going to widen it out and do a bunch of like cave slash nether slash research details down here. That's going to be awesome. Okay, I'll be the first to admit I don't know how this TNT thing works and I, I didn't Google it. I feel like I should usually Google these things, but... Uh, it's fine. Wait, it worked! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it almost worked, I got two! Okay, I, I'll do the next two now. I feel like this is only really more efficient if you have quite a lot of TNT. I don't have a ton, so it, it's kind of just a little random for me, and you end up with these really big blasted out areas, um, and they're kind of messy and full of lava. I don't know how I feel. Oh, it's fun watching TNT blow up, though. <laughs> like, that's fun. I feel destructive. Heck yeah. No ancient debris, though, for right now, so I'm gonna dig a little bit with my pickaxe, and then I'll go back to the TNT. <gasps> Hey, I was right next to it. I, I was literally exploding right there. And here's some ancient debris. Oh my gosh. That means we officially now have five ancient debris, meaning I can upgrade one piece of my gear. That's amazing. Okay, well, let's keep going while we're on a winning streak. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, lava. <laughs> okay. Um, I found more. I... I literally barely even went anywhere. Um, the last piece I found was right here. I was TNTing right there. And there's more right in here. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm getting really lucky today. Um, last time I went looking, I was looking for a really long time and I didn't find any. So I feel like it's really hit or miss with the ancient debris. There's a lot of lava here though. Making me really nervous. How have you guys been doing in your survival worlds? If you're playing along, do you guys have netherite? Have you been bothering to look for it? What's the method that you're using? Oh, <laughs> here's a little bit more. How's it going for you guys though? Like this is the first time that I've really, really tried and like sat down and said, okay, I'm gonna find ancient debris right now. Um, Cause I'm just, I'm not trying to rush into the game and I feel like this is a really OP material, but we're doing good now that we're actually looking for it. And I feel good about that. But I want to know how you guys are doing, because I'm, I mean, we all have different play styles. I think it's really interesting. There is so much lava. There's just so much. It's, ah. <laughs> soul sand keeps tricking me. I'm not going to lie. Like, you, you mine along and you hit some soul sand and you're like, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. It's because it's just, ah, oh, annoying. It's like finding lapis in the overworld instead of diamond. It's just, ah. Oh. oh, hey. I got more, I got more, heck yeah. Lots of these like two veins this time, which is really interesting. I like it, I like it. We've got eight, we're up to eight and we've been going for 28 minutes. That's not bad. <gasps> I did it. I found another one, I found another one. Heck yeah, oh my gosh. This is going so well. I feel like I, I just had to commit to it. I really did just have to commit to it. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit more TNT, and then I think I think I'm gonna call it good for this session. Oh, I had, I had almost missed one. <laughs> My bad. There we go. I got it. Okay, let's go in a little bit further and do it again. Boom! Whoa! Lava. Okay, and a little bit further and do it again. There we go. All right, all clear. Nothing in here. All right, that's fine. Let's head back home. Getting some quartz on the way out just for some XP really easy and I like building out a quartz so good both ways. All right I've returned it's raining but I have my ancient debris I'm so happy so I have enough for exactly three pieces and I'll have two left over. I'm gonna go ahead and just smelt all of this I think to get us started and then I'll have to combine it with some gold. First things first gotta make myself a blast furnace and we'll put the blast furnace in here. Um let's just go right there kind of finish off this wall. All right, there we go. Ancient debris, netherite scrap. I'm excited, that's so awesome. I'm so excited to have done that. All right, it's all done. There's my netherite scrap. And now all we have to do is craft up our very first ingots. 
Oh my gosh. Three netherite ingots. Look, new recipes unlocked. Oh, we have so many options now. So all we have to do to upgrade the gear that we have is put it in here. I'm not gonna do that yet because I need to think long and hard about what I have to upgrade. <laughs> but I am gonna upgrade it this episode. I just, I need a thinking time. I'm gonna put the rest of my scrap in here and store away this. And uh, what do you say we do another enchant? Because we have a few things that we haven't actually enchanted yet. And we did get this thorns one diamond leggings, but I'm not super attached to those. I might put them in a grindstone. Gosh, this rain is pretty, but it's, it's getting a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait until nighttime when I can sleep it off. <laughs> is that just me? Do you guys like the rain in Minecraft? All right, so we got unbreaking three pants as a potential, unbreaking three boots, and efficiency on a shovel. Tempting, tempting. Ah, uh, let's do the pants. Unbreaking three. Bam. Mm, fire protection. Okay, not the best, not the worst. I'll take it. I would have probably rather just plain old protection for these, but you know, it's fine. So my next mission in this area is in a similar vein as with the chickens. My horse Dodo needs some friends and needs an appropriate stables. And I think that would be great to build. I think right about here would be fantastic. I feel like it would just polish off this perfect farm area so nicely. So uh, I'm gonna prep the land for that. Just making this area a little less awkward in terms of terrain. There we go. That's a bit more natural, I think. Just going to build up a bunch of different pens. Each one is going to be three wide and it's going to hold one horse. So about like that. This side of the pen is going to be taken off, so we will have room to walk around this way and walk around in the other way, but it will kind of close off this area a little bit. Maybe I'll move it over just by one. One block in that direction. It's important to get the placement right. I don't want to have to take this down. <laughs> All right, now that I have the pillars marked in, just gonna do, again, a really simple roof going horizontally this way. I did finally make some scaffolding, by the way, and I absolutely love this for building my roofs. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. All right, there we go. That is the outline of our roof. I really like this so far. Now to make this feel a little bit more homey, I'm not going to put any walls on this. I'm actually just gonna connect like some arches like so. So I want us to be able to ride on the horse in and out of here without hitting my head. So pretty high up arches like this into each stable. Perfect. And then I'm just going to do kind of the same thing, but on the ends. All right, this is looking better, but it's still really plain. In order to dress this up a little bit more, I'm going to do a like triangle roof in the center there. Um, still connected to the other ones, just, you know, facing a different direction. Yes, that definitely helped, I think. Now I just need to connect everything together with fences, detail the interior a little bit, and maybe add a couple more little details to the roof. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep going. I've done it. I'm so happy with how this has come together. Look at the stables. So I've decided that we can walk through here to get into the forest over here rather than having three pens. So I think two pens is probably enough. I'm only one person and we already have one horse. Of course, whenever we need to, we can add stables to other areas so that I can ride my horse from this area along a path to anywhere else and drop it off. And I think that's a really cool goal to have in the world. That's gonna be awesome. All right, Dodo, you ready? Are you ready? Come, come. Look at this. We can ride all the way in here. I'm not gonna hit my head. You're covered from the rain. You're beautiful. I can look at you on my way in and out of the village. It's perfect, guys. I really like it. Okay, now all I gotta do is take down this part of the pen. Now, we do have the issue of having an empty stables and there were some horses over there last time I went exploring. So what do you say we go get ourselves another horse? Just, you know, we have room for it now. So I feel like we should adopt and Dodo needs a friend. I do have one saddle left. I don't have any armor, but I can actually make some armor out of leather. There we go. Got some armor and I can dye that any color that I want. I don't know what color I want, to be honest. Scooter, you're gonna stay here today. You might scare the horsey. All right, here's some horses, finally. I'm gonna try to get a quicker one over here. All of these appear to be the same color. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. 
what a glorious color for this horse. Oh my gosh. Okay, I do have a little bit of sugar. There you go, you can have some sugar. You feel better about me now? You do, thank you. All right, let's see how fast you are. Okay, not bad, not bad. You do have a lot of health. I am gonna just try out all of these other ones. Whoa, this one has a lot of health. My gosh, dude. What you doing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, this one has so much health. And you know what? It feels pretty quick. This is pretty quick. It's definitely quicker than Doro. <laughs> All right, this is our brand new horse. So I let you guys name Doro. I am going to name this horse. I have decided that this horse will be named the Cavallo Bella. This is Bella. So we have Doro and Bella. So I'm I'm not Italian. Uh, I feel like that's obvious. I'm from Canada. But um, Doro was named after something Italian. And I've actually been to Italy. And when I was in Italy, when they don't know your name, they say Bella, they'll say Ciao Bella. And I think that that's the most beautiful thing and it means beautiful. So this is our beautiful horse and Doro is our golden horse. And I think that that's really, really sweet. And I like that. Also, this horse is so fast. <laughs> I'm, I can actually see why you guys roasted Doro a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's, this is kind of good. Are you a jumper? Oh, you're not a bad jumper. Look at this, huh? So, well, it's not that great. It's probably like two and a half blocks. Not the highest a horse can jump. I think Dodo can jump high. Oops, sorry, horsey. Oh, Bella, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'll feed you, hang on. Bella, have some food. There you go. Oh, she's beautiful. Bella, I love you. Dodo, you have a new friend now. Dodo, meet Bella. Okay, can any Italians correct me on this if I am incorrect? I don't know Italian grammar, but Cavallo Bella. A beautiful horse, Cavallo d'Oro, golden horse. Um, let me know if that's correct. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm actually so pleased with myself. Like, it's simple, but it's so cute. Okay, there's one more thing that I would like to really finish off this area, and that is a well. I feel like every farm needs a cute little well. We live by the ocean, not necessarily fresh water, so it'd be cute to have one, right? Maybe, maybe like right where this crafting table and chest are. What do you say I finally organize all this? Oh, I did have some iron horse armor. But I kinda like that Bella's in pink. I'll save it, I'll save it. If we take her on an adventure where she needs better armor, then I'll use the iron stuff. But just while she's in the stables, she can have the leather. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just right in this spot. I think maybe I'll go two between them. So one, two, 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 just like so. And just build a little well. All right, so there's the general well shape. Uh, I, I do need to fix this side, but I, I do wanna go a little bit further with this and dig it down and actually have like a chain kind of coming down. So I think like maybe right here, um, we'll have the blocks and we'll have this be like the part where you turn it to kind of have the chain come up and down. And I'm gonna put a grindstone, I think. Yeah, so that kind of looks like some sort of pulley system. And then I'm gonna dig this out and we can maybe hide something down here. I I don't know, I haven't thought about it that far, but I think we do some chains coming off of this. So it's actually, it's actually a well. <laughs> like, I, I know that it, it is actually a well, but you know, it gives you a, a little bit more realistic maybe. All right, how's this look? It's very well-like, right? <laughs> Definitely looks like a cute little well. I think we can even maybe get like a cauldron maybe out here. I know it wastes a little bit of iron, but whatever. It's a little cute decoration. Let's fill it with water. I just want to come back in now and add just a few other details as well. Like I love placing these buttons as little pebbles all around my path. I think they look fantastic. They just add that touch of detail that wouldn't have been there before. Of course, expanding this out. Then I'm also going to use some of this soul soil to kind of mix that into the path a little bit as well. I don't like to do paths that are super crazy with like mixed blocks and stuff, but these two work together fairly well, so I'm gonna use them much better. I love it. I've done a little bit of fishing to get myself to level 30. Didn't really get anything cool. I got a Frostwalker book, which is awesome, but not something that I want right now. 
Um, I've just been kind of cycling through some enchants over here once again, and I found Depth Strider on Boots. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to go for it. I want Depth Strider, I want Soul Speed, I want Feather Falling, Protection, Unbreaking, I want really OP boots, and I'm not going to get them all in one enchant, so I may as well start somewhere. Uh, Protection and Depth Strider. Okay, that's not the worst, and it's better than Iron Boots. I will certainly take it. Right, time to go down to the Spider Grinder and just get a few more levels. All right, I got my levels, I'm ready to enchant. I have a few things that I'm like prepared to enchant potentially, but otherwise I'll probably just kind of cycle through the enchant. Like this kind of looks good. I'm still using an iron shovel, so maybe I'll go for a shovel today. We go shovel, oh, we got silk touch. Wait, that's actually so good. So that means we can now decorate with Podzol. We can go get mycelium if we ever find a mushroom area. Uh, when we're mining gravel, we won't get flint, which is great. That's such a good enchant. Okay, what's next? What's next? Unbreaking on the boots. Sharpness on the sword. We could potentially work towards a sharpness five sword, maybe. Um, feather falling three. You know what? It only takes two levels. I might do that one. You can get a higher feather falling, but that's the first time I've even seen feather falling. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do feather falling to be honest. Watch this be feather falling. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> we're all good. All right, so I think I might wait and see if I can get a second feather falling three book and kind of combine them together before I put them on the shoes. But this is potentially making a really good set of boots for us because we also have soul speed to go on our boots. Um, where's my book? Yeah, we also have soul speed three right here. We have on breaking three, so I can put on breaking three on them. I can put soul speed on them and I can now put a feather falling on them. So that could actually make a really good set of boots. Not perfect, but it's up there. I mean, it's not bad, right? Okay, so out of all of the pieces of armor I have right now, the one that I'm most happy with in terms of enchants is actually the diamond helmet. I really just need respiration on the diamond helmet and then it'd be a pretty good standard helmet. So I think it is going to be our very first netherite item. Let's go upgrade it. I'm not gonna lie to you, every time I walk in here, I think that this is a person and I almost get jump scared. Like every time, it, I have to move the armor stand. <laughs> it's driving me insane. Okay, netherite ingots. Netherite helmet. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Let's put it on. We ready? Bam. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool. We have, have our official first piece of netherite. Oh, a helmet has never looked so good on me. <laughs> I like it. All right. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna save my other two ingots and I want you to tell me in the comments what I should upgrade or what I should do. Should I fix my boots up and do those next? Should I get a good chest plate and do that? Like, I don't know, what should I be doing? What should I be doing? Anyways, everyone, I do believe that that is all for me in this episode. This has been so much fun. I'm really proud of the progress that we made today. I feel like it was really good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And remember, I am pre-recording episode 10 and 11 this week. It is currently Wednesday, July 15th for me. So I will have episodes going up. It'll be like I'm not gone, but I am working super hard this week to get more and more episodes recorded. So thank you for hanging in there. I know I'm a little less active in my Discord server and things right now, but I promise it's just because I'm working super hard behind the scenes. Thank you for always supporting me. I appreciate you watching these videos and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye everyone.